Got some garden gates that want painting. Tongue and groove. So they've been knotted, primed, filled, and now I'm in the process of just undercoating them. Oh, this is what I'm using. It's the uh, Leyland True Guard exterior. Microporous. Really good coverage on it. Just top up. You know, you can always have too much painting and never overfill your paint kettle. Not doing this top bar yet, always just working the boards first. And I come to the top of the board just working my brush to that lip. If you were using a roller then it's the same principle. With your brush you'd work the grooves in. Doing a few. Remove any bristles. And then once you've worked the grooves, then you could roll them. Obviously, bring in the tops first. roll them and then lay them off which is a bit of a faff so if you don't mind using a brush and you've got the strength in your hands then brush is always better if you type for time doing site work then yeah you probably would roll them with the brush more intimate with the wood really does work it in. Yeah, so that's the first one on the coated. And picked out the sunburst there. That's how it's going to be finished. It's going to be black and white. So I'm going to paint this one as if you were glossing it. So
kind of keep off that edge if necessary. Okay, and if this was being glossed, then this white would be done and let to dry. Again, so if you're glossing this, you want to not stray too far over them ends. And if you do, just feather them off. And then with nearly a dry brush, you need to come under that lip there. And then bringing the grooves in, just working the brush up to that edge again.
was gloss, then what you would do is just work one of these grooves at a time, bringing the board in. And depending whether you're using oil or water base, this really does um, really does matter. Because if this is water base, it's going off like crazy. Oil base, you're able to work it a little bit longer, but when you're glossing, it'll flash when you're hitting it. You get horrible paint finish. So again, top, top tip of the bristle, and just work the brush away. Don't go back onto that edge. And that's that one finished. Remember this is only undercoat but if you were glossing that's the way you would do it. And also these were primed and they were all done grey obviously. So anything like this just prime it all grey and these were then picked out white afterwards and then obviously lay on your undercoat. But when painting this tongue and groove there always is bracing on these doors or gates. So like here, with the bracing on the back of these, what you want to start doing is working the panels inside first before you do any of this bracing. And once all the panels are done, and just bring in this bracing. And bring it in the top and then these rails down the side. I'll leave these to dry off now and uh, tomorrow I'll flip them round and undercoat the other side and then these gates are going to get hung so I'll be glossing them in situ. That's the gates in situ. So they went in last night. The lads only finished at 8 o'clock, so it would have been dark when they was working. So, first job was to go around and do the cleaning up. So from this side, looking pretty good. The slave gate on the side there. I've yet to brush up round this side, but there it is. So I've got a lot of shavings to brush up. But yeah, that's looking good. Bit of priming to do on this edge. And now there's a lot of furniture on, which I'm going to have to work round, maybe tech some of these off. But, yeah, good. Where these posts were fitted to the wall, um, the anchor screws, quite deep they are, over an inch deep. So I'm going to backfill with foam. It'll dry a lot quicker and get these painted. And then also, this edge wants priming. Get this edge primed, bit of knotting. I've sanded the edge of these posts before I put the foam in. Now I can just go round and sand the rest of it. All of this will get done. And then once all the gates sanded then this white will get done first or gloss the white go and do the other gate and then by the time i've done the other gate i'll be able to come back and put the black gloss on this but get all my sanding done because i don't want anything getting onto this white 
But if you're using putty to do any filling, and a good tip is once you've got your filler in, your putty in, with your putty knife, just draw it over the face just to remove any excess off the surface. And then with a wet blade, the flat of it, just polish that in. And that is the neatest way of getting your putty in on a flat surface. Well this side, holes are a bit shallower. So, a bit of the undercoat. Just seal that wood inside there. There with the putty. the excess off the surface and then to get that nice and smooth just wet knife and just a flat that way you get really nice smooth putty fill Remember, you do need a wet knife. Doing this sunburst, when the gloss is going in, anything on the face, I'm just using a terpsy rag, a uh, rag with white spirit, just to take off any excess gloss. Because this needs to go black today. All I'm using to apply it, is my Fitch because I don't want too much paint so half inch brush would probably be too big inch should be too big so I'm just choosing my Fitch just so I can get this in least amount of paint coming on the face that's the last white gloss so I'll just wipe it back All there, and then if need be, I can just slightly flat this off, but well, that shouldn't be a problem. Leave them to dry. I've just been informed they've decided now that these hinges want painting to come in with the gate, so they're going black. Um, but these are galvanized hinges, so I can't just paint over them. Um, so I've got my special metals primer which I'm going to use on this one and um, this is red so it'll just be easier for me to cover with my black I've already scratched these I've already had a good scratch ready to receive this I'm literally two hours from the sun setting now so there's no chance I'm putting any gloss on there today. Plus, the hinge missing here. So we need to put another hinge in, see the size of them things. Another one down there. So that's coming later this evening. That stuff, luckily, is water-based. So, and we'll be able to coat these hinges up 
and then first thing in the morning I'll do that hinge because I don't know what time they're coming today but I won't be here so again I'm ready for applying this that's the hinges coated up on this side really good coverage you know, good opacity so I'll go around and I'll do the other Oh, it certainly does cover well. I'm using a synthetic brush here as well. And I will give this two coats of uh, black gloss because I'm already held up now on this and there's no way I can undercoat this and gloss it tomorrow so it'll get a coat of gloss tomorrow and then another coat the day after and I still have quite a few other jobs to do what that? that's pretty good Good coverage. Well, one step forward, two steps back. If you don't cry, then you've got to laugh. I've just come in this morning to gloss all this, and Jonas have been back, and obviously they've put this piece in both sides. So that's going to want priming and filling now, which I'm not going to be able to gloss this side. Oh, happy days. Mm -hmm.